Well, it's the real-life risky business. A teenager holds an alcohol fueled party for hundreds of kids while his unsuspecting parents are on holiday. 16-year-old Corey Worthington is now facing not only the wrath of mum and dad, but a $20,000 fine from police. I spoke to him a short time ago. Corey, thanks for joining us. The only question that I can think to ask is, what were you thinking? Um, I wasn't really. Did your parents say you could have a party? Um, no. So they didn't. why did you? Um, I don't know, it was just a get together with a couple mates at first and then we thought we might as well just have a bit of a party and then it sort of just got out of hand and, yeah. Well, 500 people turned up, the air wing of the police force, the dog squad, your neighbours' cars were being destroyed. What have your uh, parents had to say, Corey? Um, I haven't really talked to them because every time they call I don't answer because, yeah, they probably try to kill me. So that's a short-term strategy. You're going to have to talk to them eventually. What are you going to say? Um, sorry. Are you sorry? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. You don't sound very sorry. But I can't be exactly blowing what happened because it wasn't in the house. It was out in the street and I didn't do it like... The police said, you stay inside so you don't get in trouble, so I did what he said, so... Why don't you take this opportunity now to apologise to your parents and to your neighbours who have said today that they were frightened? Well, I've already, I've already offered, like, to say sorry to them and stuff when I see them, so... I will say sorry now for everything that happened. Why don't you and... take your glasses off so we can see you? And then apologise mm -hmm. to your neighbours for frightening nah. them? Nah, nah, I'll leave these on. Nah, I like them. They've, they might be fined $20,000. Are you going to try and pay that for them? Yeah, but I don't think it's fair they'll be fined it because what happened, it was my party, but it could have just been any random person walking in the street doing it. What well, happens all the time. Your parents were out of town. You put out the invitation. You started it. Why don't you make a grown-up decision now and accept responsibility, take off those glasses and apologise to everybody that you frightened, to the police who were forced to retreat and whose cars have been damaged, and to the community who have had to pay for this? Take, your, take a few I'll, glasses and apologise to us. I'll say sorry, but I'm not taking off my glasses. Why not? Because they're famous. Because your glasses are famous. Yeah. Why are your glasses famous? I know, everyone likes them, so I know, I'm not taking them off. You're pretty happy with the way you look and the attitude you've got, are you? Yeah, my parents aren't, but I am. OK, Corey, we've got to wrap this up, but what would you say to other kids who were thinking of partying when their parents are out of town? Get me to do it for you. Get you to do it for you, not don't do yeah. it. Nah, get me to do it for you. Best party ever so far. That's what everyone's been saying, so... Well, we've got to go, but I suggest you go away and uh, take a good, long, hard look at yourself. I have. Everyone has. They love it.